Hi everyone, back here again for another video. Today, I want to show you how I will create my 2021 digital journal. This is my own version that suits me and which I find convenient for me to create the pages for the whole year without manually writing on each of the page. I love my analog journal and I love the satisfaction of writing on it and browsing the pages. Those who agree with me, leave me a thumbs up in the comment section down below. But this year, I want to move to a digital journal and see if I'll stick to it or move back to my notebook or planner. What I will use as my main journal is the GoodNotes app, but I will use other apps to create the different pages. I mentioned in my other videos that my handwriting in GoodNotes looks way worse than it should be. So even if it's only me who will see this journal, I still want to make the pages look more pleasing in my own eyes. My plan is to recreate my current journal as I feel the layout or the format works okay for me. I will skip though the calendar year page as I find it redundant so the first page I will create in my digital journal is for the month of January. There are tons of YouTubers who do elaborate and decorated journals and they are really creative. For me though, I'm just lazy to do all the writing. There is a template in GoodNotes, but I have to write the dates one by one and thinking I have to do this for all 12 months, I just don't want to spend that much time on it. So I'm so happy to find this calendar template in the Numbers app. I can use a template by creating a new spreadsheet and looking down at the section under personal and there will be this calendar template. Uh, by default, it is on the year 2020. So I can change the year by just tapping on the cell and switching it to 2021. And same with the months, I simply click on the cell where the month name is and I can switch to all of the months in the year, which is really cool because it will automatically populate the calendar with the right dates. Also, what's cool about this is that it has the previous and next month's calendar view on top. From here, I can also do customizations of the colors of the fonts or the headers or the cells just by clicking on that paintbrush icon on the top right. Once I've finished the customizations I want on the calendar, then I can export it by tapping on the three buttons on top and exporting it as PDF. Note here though that you may want to select export current sheet only because there are two sheets currently uh, by default. Then just select open in GoodNotes and that will bring you to the GoodNotes app and will ask you to import as a new document. And that's it. The calendar is now imported in GoodNotes and you can now do the edits. Notice though that here you see the page number at the bottom. So go back to the uh, numbers app and go to the print options to change the settings and turn off page numbers. And this when you import once this is turned off, once you import again the the sheet into GoodNotes that will remove the page number again make sure the export current sheet only is on so that it will only export one page and then import it to the current document and now you'll see there's no more page number at the bottom so now what i'll do is delete the page with the page number and that's it so i have my january page now created into good notes now, what I can do is obviously go back into Numbers app and create all the sheets for all the months. Um, and here, I created all the months and this time, I will export it without turning off the export current sheet only because I want to export all the sheets anyway. So once I click on export, then again, open in GoodNotes app and I choose the current document 
and that will import all the calendars into my good notes page so what i can do as you notice here the blank month page is also imported um, and so i just uh, simply delete it from good notes and that's it i'm good to go the reason why i want to create all this calendar months all these pages all at once is so i can easily write down any notes or events i want to remember this serves as my future log and monthly log all in one for those who have been journaling you may recognize this as i got this concept from the book called the bullet journal method by writer carol I'll link the book and his website down in the description box below. And here's a tip. I've noticed that my the calendar by default was created to Sunday. So to change it to Monday, click on the second row and then unhide all rows and change this number one on A3 to two and then that's it it will change everything to be starting on monday i don't cre take credit for this solution i found this simply by uh, googling for a solution and there was a question posted in the apple support community page and here's the answer the next pages i am creating are the pages for my monthly goals and the weekly pages I am creating this from the Pages app just so the spacing of the tables and the lines are easy to do. Plus, the lines won't be erased once I export this and use it in GoodNotes. Only my handwriting will be erased. So first, the Goals page. This is where I write down the steps I will do every month for each of my goals. Basically, I have three main goals I've set for the year where I will break down my steps to achieve it into quarterly targets. Then I have to plan specific actions each month to make sure I don't overwhelm myself and at the same time, I don't forget my goals too. So this is how I do it. Next, I will be creating the weekly pages and I'm copying the format uh, from my old planner except for the time boxing part. Here I'm putting the week and the days and the top part will be for my main or top three to five to do's and in the middle will be the other to do's which are not that important or I can use it for taking notes. And the last part is for my reflection for the day. I plan to use this for gratitude log or anything on my mind. I decided to change the goals page to include the month end reflection alongside the month goals page. Again, I'm copying this format from my journal as I think it's a good practice for me to reflect on my achievements and failures, then use those to plan my next month's actions. In pages, I split it using two columns so I can see it side by side. So now I have completed all the pages, so I'll export it to GoodNotes, same steps I did for the calendar. Then I can now write on the pages for each week and I can plan my to-dos or anything I want to add in my journal. Here, I can freely erase my handwritten notes or text I type without erasing the tables. So now I will rearrange and organize the pages in GoodNotes. But first, what I did is save the month goals page and weekly pages as templates. So then I can simply duplicate and move it after the, the calendar pages. Basically, the sequence of my pages will be first, of course, is the calendar of the month, followed by the goals page and then the weekly pages. Then I can find the pages I want to update by simply going into the thumbnails page or I can create the outlines. I can do this by month and that's it. Here's my simple, easy and a bit quicker way to create a 2021 digital journal. 
If you are a subscriber, you know I love my iPad. And if you're new here, well, now you know. My main computing device is my iPad alone. And for my personal stuff, I don't really use a laptop, just my iPad. Aside from using my iPad for typing with my Logitech keyboard and mice, I also like writing, sketching, drawing, and of course, journaling. So thanks for dropping by and wishing you all a nice and advanced happy holidays. Feel free to come back and see my upcoming videos. So that's it. Thanks for watching.